Okay, this is lesson 8.9 on noun clauses as direct objects, and it's page 156. So we actually already know what both of these terms are. We know what a noun clause is, we know what a direct object is, but you might need a refresher on those. So here's your warm-up. Finish these sentences. Pause the video. Okay, here are some examples. I asked how the coffee machine works. The girl thought that Santa Claus was real. She does not know what to name her dog. So all of these sentences contain noun clauses that are direct objects. So if you forgot what a direct object is, it answers who or what after the verb. So when you're doing this, you just need to find the verb in the sentence and what comes after it. So here's an example. She raised chickens on the farm. So the verb is raised. What did she raise? Chickens. Chickens, the direct object. Okay. Common introductory words for direct objects that are noun clauses are how and that. So if the verb comes before how or that, that means that it is going to be a noun clause. So Zach showed us that he could juggle. The verb is showed. What did he show? That he could juggle. See how it's more than one word? That makes it a noun clause. Zach showed us that he could juggle. Miss Heather suggested that we eat Chipotle for lunch. The verb is suggested. What did she suggest? That we eat Chipotle for lunch. Here are some examples for exercise one. It says, identify the noun clause that's used as a direct object. So again, I'm just gonna look for the verb and what comes after it. Number one, I never really asked myself why things are invented. Asked is the verb, what did I ask? Why things are invented. Number two, it says, a book I read explained how many things got started. So what's the verb? Explained. What did it explain? How many things got started. And number three, did you know that many inventions resulted from chance? So what's the verb? No. Did you know that? So this whole phrase is the noun clause. Did you know that many inventions resulted from chance? And that's pretty much it. Your job is to do exercise two on Google Classroom.